hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i will teach you how to make an electric generator from an old washing machine motor the same motor that you have already seen in a few of my previous videos okay so guys uh, the six pins that you see here these six pins are responsible for uh, running this universal motor in every mode possible like as a universal motor as a dc shunt motor and both in clockwise or in anti-clockwise direction only these six pins are needed and not even these six the upper two are neglected because they are for counting the rpm of the motor so only the four pins the middle two and the two below it are needed for running this motor in every possible mode so guys uh, the lower two pins are for the field winding of this motor the upper one is the field winding and the lower one is the field winding and the one rotating is the armature so this and this are the field windings which are getting their connection with the lower two pins while uh, the two middle pins this and this the two middle pins are for the armature winding now to the lower two pins i will connect these two yellow and orange wires okay so let's do that now i am left with the two middle pins for the armature winding now for the armature winding i will connect these two wires black and red i will connect the red on this side and black on this side the armature winding is also connected and the field winding is also connected now to use this motor as a generator i will power up the field winding by giving it some amount of voltage like uh, 2 to 12 volts DC and yes I will be giving DC to the field winding to create constant poles like if this is north then this is south okay so sorry the poles are here and here so if this is north then this should be south and at constant and the generated electricity will be extracted from the armature winding now remember guys this red and black wire these two wires are connected to the armature winding and the one below it are connected to the field winding so power supply will be given to the field winding which means to the yellow and orange wires and electricity will be generated and will appear on this red and black wire okay so guys to excite uh, the field winding i will be using this 3.7 volts lithium ion battery cell okay so let's measure its voltage first so guys as you can see that it is pointing 3.7 volts almost so it is charged I would say so this will power up the field winding of this universal motor which in turn will generate electricity on the armature wires when the shaft will be rotated. So to connect this battery to the field winding, I will use two neodymium magnets. Yeah, one for this side and the other one is for this side. And two nails. Okay, so guys, it's time to power up the field. We'll connect this to this side. The negative has been connected. And as soon as I will connect the positive, the electric current will start flowing through the field winding. Okay, so now I'm going to connect these wires. Black to the black and red to the red. Okay. Okay, so guys, the output, which means the armature winding, has been connected through these pins and through these wires to the multimeter. And when I will rotate this shaft, you will see some voltage reflected on the display screen. Now, at present, I am rotating it, but uh, no voltage is being displayed. That is because the field is not yet excited. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, go. Yeah, you saw that voltage was only 0.15 volts. Now guys, I'm going to replace the input power supply with this 12 volts 7H UPS battery. Okay. 
and then measure the generated voltage okay so guys now when i will rotate this shaft you should see some more voltage generated and reflected on the multimeter screen okay so keep watching it guys okay yeah now initially it was only 0.15 volts but now the hand rotation voltage increased from 0.15 to almost 7 to 8 volts DC. Now let's do some rope testing. Moving uh, the voltage pointer towards 200 volts DC mode. Okay. Yeah. Guys, as you saw that the voltage was almost 75 volts DC. Now let's connect some actual load to it. Okay, so guys, now I am going to use this 100 watts in Canderson bulb. 220 volts, 100 volts. Now uh, the voltage is low, that is 75 volts that was obtained from the rope rotation test. So I am not going to get full illuminance but it would be enough to show you the demonstration okay okay so guys uh, the wires have been connected now all i'm left with is this wire and the rope now let's wound the rope first Okay, connecting the wire. Wire has been connected. Okay, go. Oops. Bad timing. The wire got out. Once more. Yeah. Okay, so guys, I have turned off the lights to show uh, the proper illuminance of this 100 watts bulb. So let's see it now. Okay, so connecting this wire. Okay. Yeah. So guys, as you saw that when this universal motor from washing machine is used as a generator, it can glow this bulb. Now, although the illuminance was not very high because this motor is rated at very high RPM, which is around 11,000 RPM and uh, the rope rotation RPM was not that high. So at higher RPM, it will produce more voltage even higher than 250 volts perhaps and the power rating when this motor is used as a generator will be same which is 600 watts okay so guys that would be all about today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe and if you have any queries you can always ask them in comments thank you